All right, first what we want to start off with is some flour. Let me move these teeth. I'll put these teeth in my pocket. I'm not going to do that this morning. Look, I'm going to show you how to make some biscuits that won't be so hard. You have to hit them with a hammer to wake somebody up with them. All right. First off, you're going to need a mixing bowl. One mixing bowl. That's all you need is a mixing bowl. Look, you young ladies out there don't know how to cook biscuits. These are simple. They are very simple. And I'm don't do not put the shortening inside this flour. First off, you want some self-rising flour. And my wife told me to measure everything. So there's one cup of flour. There's two cups of flour and a little more flour in there. I like a lot of flour when I'm, and keep some saved back because you might, if you get it too well. All right, now, then what you want to do is you want to make you a little, you want to make you a little hole down in the middle of that flour. Connie, I'm going to try to turn it up where you can see it, okay? There's your flour. Got it? Any good self-rising flour will work. Do not use plain flour. This is buttermilk, okay? Buttermilk skies. You already hurt my feelings this morning, told me not to sing. I was in here just singing this morning before I went on there and Connie, oh we gotta we gotta we gotta measure this. So I'll put a cup full of buttermilk in there. Connie, that be alright? Let's start off with one cup of buttermilk. Alright, I started to stir this with a hammer. And what you want to do, you want to kind of stir this a little bit slow here. Huh? Just kind of make it around like this right here. Okay? See me stirring that, Connie? Yeah. What I'm doing, I'm stirring that flour slowly into that buttermilk. Then I'm going to really start stirring it faster because this has only got a half hour on this program. What you want to do is go over there and turn your oven on to 450 degrees. Okay? Just go on, turn it on, and preheat your oven. To 450 degrees. The reason I'm doing it like this because I don't want to get this all over my fingers and everything. But let's just go ahead and get our fingers mixed that way because you're going to have to get into it after a while anyway. All right? So you're going to make it up biscuits. Huh? Making up biscuits. What I'm doing is I'm kneading this flour right here. This flour. All I got in there now is flour, self rising flour, and I got some buttermilk in there. What you don't want is you don't want it too wet and you don't want it too dry, Connie, okay? Okay. You just, and see, it's already in a lump right there, but it's still too wet, so I want some more flour on it. So I got that. I'm just working that and working that and working that. Got it? I'm working it, Connie, okay. to about the consistency of, uh, about the consistency, a little bit lighter than what you would call modeling clay. Have you ever owned some modeling clay, Connie? Huh? When you was a kid? Yeah. Sure is a pretty pink outfit you got on this morning. My little granddaughter called that hot pink. Beth's got a hot pink outfit and she says, hot pink. Me, Ma. Me, Ma. Yeah. Alright. You see this? Now that all that is is flour. Now, if I had one of them big old pans, you could you can see the consistency of it. See there? Just the consistency of it. What I need is a little sprinkle of more flour in there. See? I didn't measure that. I'm sorry, honey. Beth says, you got to measure everything. Now, you haven't got to measure everything. You just haven't got to measure everything. All right. We've got that dough made up. You see the consistency of this dough, Wayne? Are you looking at that? Okay. But that's it. Look, that's the consistency of it right there. Can I test that consistency with my tongue? Well, I've already got them over here baked. I baked some last night after I got in from the good deal. All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm fixing to go wash my hands now. All right, I went and washed all that flour and goo off my hands and see. It won't stick to you now because it's it's uh, it's 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 kindly dry. Okay, do you see this, you young housewives out there that want to make your husband biscuits? Let me tell you what you can do. There's a couple of ways you can do this. You can pink cheese off and make cat head biscuits, or you can put them in a in a baking pan. All you need is a little baking pan like this. Here is the whole key to every bit of it. 
You don't want these too wet. You don't want them too dry. It's something you just got to get into. The first thing you need to do is get some oil, some peanut oil or, or corn oil, and you want to pour some. I need to measure everything Beth says, so let's see. This is a tablespoon, so there's one tablespoon. There's two tablespoons. And I overflowed it a little bit with that. So that's 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 how much that's how much uh, oil you want to put in the bottom of that pan. You, you it's hard to put too much in there. But here's the key to it. You want that you want it real moist because what you're fixing to do, see that oil in there? What you're fixing to do is you're fixing to put your hands in this oil, okay? You're going to put your hands in the oil. Let me roll up my sleeves. See, I don't want to get it on this century shirt. Watch. Oil on the hand. Oil on both hands. That way this, it won't stick to me. Look, watch. Biscuit. Boom. Got it? Use that oil. Put some on your hands. Got it? Biscuit in the pan. All I'm doing is pinching these off. All right? Biscuit in the pan. See what I'm doing? Making them out of biscuits. Boom. Just like that. Now there's what they look like in the pan. See them? All right. Let me do some more, Connie. It's according to what size you need. But boom, boom, boom. Just like that. Put them in the pan. You want that shortening, you want that, that oil on the outside of these biscuits, Connie. You do not want it on the inside of them, okay? Because they, they kind of they bake and they kind of cook, and, okay? See this, Connie? See, I'm reaching over here, I'm still keeping my fingers moist with this. And I'm pinching it off where it won't stick to me. Putting them dudes in here, I'm pinching this off. I even dump it down in there a little bit. Put it like that. Connie, I didn't make up quite enough for this pan, but we'll be able to show you. I'm going to make two cat head biscuits out of that right there. You can make big biscuits, little biscuits. You could do the whole thing on here. In fact, I think that's what I'll do is make some more here. and uh, I'll make a big cat head biscuit right there on that side. Make another big cat head. See, I'm, I'm out of oil there now. You don't want it to get dry. You want this oil on the outside of your of your hand. I need some more oil out there, Connie. I need some more oil out there. Let the oil get away from me there. Let it get away from me. I want them to be pretty, Connie, right? We want them to be pretty, don't we? Huh? Making up biscuits, making up biscuits, making up biscuits. All right? Now, Connie, what I'm fixing to do is watch what I'm going to do. See, I'm using the back of my hand or the front of my hand. You're through with this. Do not put this back in it because back in the flour thing because it's got little clumps and stuff in it. Throw it away. Flour is cheap. Don't try to save it, okay? Like Wayne would. Save throw the it. Flowers. Throw save it the flowers. Throw it away. Do not put it back in your in your flour. What you want to do is you want to pat these out just like that. Pat them out. Connie, there they are. See that? <laughs> That's all you want to do now is sock these right in the oven at 350 degrees. No, back up. 450 degrees. 450 degrees. Bake them for about five. Oh, it's corn. Some people's oven gets hotter than others. You want to check them about, uh, about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 35 minutes, somewhere in there until they're golden brown and they will come out looking like. See, you, you ain't got to make a big mess to make biscuits. All you need, self-rising flour, buttermilk, some oil, a baking pan, some paper towels, some water to wash your hands off with. And that's all you'll do is, and they come out looking like this, kind of. How about that? And what you want to do, what I was talking about yesterday morning, what you want to do is you don't want these things to crumble you all up. Be all crumbly up. Get your hand back from there. 
Wayne, get your hand back on there, Wayne. I'll give you a biscuit after a while. I'm going to pour some of this Ben Lanier honey right on this plate right now. I'm going to show you how to sop. There's a way to sop and a way not to, see? We're going to pour some of this. And look, and don't lick this. Use your finger and put it right just like that. And then lick your finger like that. <laughs> put the lead back on the honey. Ben Lanier honey right there. Tupelo honey, LL Lanier and son. Ben is the son, okay? What you want to do is get one of these biscuits, and you won't need a hammer to hit that biscuit with. When you go and, and it's full of shortening and it just crumbles apart, watch these biscuits. Look, they're not, see there? They didn't crumble apart. Can I have a tight shot on this, Connie? We got four cameras in. But see there? They don't crumble apart. They look good like this. And this is what you want to do with it. This is what you call a sopping biscuit. See? When you sop that biscuit down there, it ain't going to break all apart and everything. Mm, cousin, if that was hot coming right out of the oven, let me tell you right now. This, these are in Ann Varnum's cookbook. They're called Red Holland Marriage Saving Biscuits. 